Okay, so you can see on this piece, leashes, it's dated the last stream, and we had no changes to make to it based on today's review. So we're good with that, and we have an animation that goes with it, and we showed that in the last stream as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in full media part 69, wrap it up. And our first objective of today's stream was to double check the leashes piece and animation and confirm that they were okay and done and to share, which we have done, as you just heard. Our second goal was to review the Fawns and Does piece, which now you see has today's date because we did make a few minor tweaks and we did a major update to the animation, which we're going to show you. But the result is that Fawns and Does is ready to go and to share. We then getting ready for our next series brainstormed ideas for next time for the new series for the new series the scales not yet used which we talked about in the last stream we think we have a working title it will be composing in multiple dimensions using 3d platform and we reviewed very quickly a video that we had made on one of the special streams in this series where we were in the 3d platform and finding ways to put music snippets up there in 3D. Um, and then a whole bunch of other stuff here. All of this came about by reviewing, as we said, 102 days that we've been working in this series, August through November, and 96 videos, counting today's, uh, summarizing our highlights. And by going through all of those ideas, everything here under the highlighted yellow are techniques that we came up with during the series working with you. The 30 second rule, uh, 30 seconds is just enough to get people interested and if you stop there they get ticked off because they want more. Um, on the other hand, if you have a two minute piece you've got to vary things at least every 30 seconds to keep their interest. Animation techniques, custom animation images like we did for the critter and the mini critter and the leashes which we showed yesterday uh, in the energy chart work, uh, normalizing things, having the on off sliders and switches so that you can see the different effects of tempo versus dynamic, sharing techniques, creating a new channel that has only finished pieces. And those are the things that we share at open mic. Timbre techniques, um, adding electric guitar for arpeggio, um, require synth, etc. Stream techniques. We worked on having a standard intro and a standard extra when we talked to you folks. Uh, special streams with 3D building, which is going to lead us into our new series. Then what we call the meta project techniques that just like you, in addition to our music projects, we've got other projects going on starting and stopping at different times, overlaying each other. And so we look to our music work to give us insights into our other project work and our other project work to give us insights into working with our music. And then some techniques about words and writing because we did talk about full media expression, which are music, images, and words. So we have that updated. So what we're going to do now is show you this new animation for um, <laughs> the new animation for fawns and does. We're kind of tickled with it. And then that'll take us home. So I'm going to turn the mic off.
So what we like about that is that we were thinking about we, we had basically it was a three pointed star pointing to the top, which was pure white, and we already had it. So it was alternating with the two parts, the backbone and the polyphon. And then the oboe versus the flute. The oboe is the the dough. And then we realized, you know, we want a deer animation. We, why don't we just turn it 60 degrees and now it looks kind of like a sharp nose and sharp ears. So it's very abstract and it still communicates. Then we shrunk the two that'll be the fawns and then we looked for a color and we used our color picker and we looked for a picture of a deer and just highlighted and picked a light color coat and then used that to be the right there the red green blue pre-color the deer so we, so we were kind of tickled with that that concludes today's stream that concludes this series we will be back we will be back at composing in multiple dimensions so stay tuned for that thank you for your time attention curiosity and interest it makes a difference that you're here take care keep on streaming <laughs>